Hello and welcome to Passions and Pastimes. This is my third video on jewelry thrifting in Canada. And today, my Salvation Army thrift store um, had jewelry on $2.99 a piece or three pieces for $5.99. So basically $2 a piece. Friday and Saturday, they're having a 40% off sale, but I decided uh, at $2 a piece, I might as well get in ahead of the crowd and uh, pick out the best pieces. And I got this gorgeous turtle. And this turtle, lovely green back, scaled back, great uh, rhinestones. And it turns out, to my surprise, right here on the back of the turtle, I don't know if we can put it in any closer, but right there, oh, it doesn't come on, it comes in close. Right there is the swan symbol for Swarovski. So here's a lovely Swarovski crystal uh, turtle brooch. What a deal for $2. Next, I found this pin. Sorry, not sure which way you could wear it. This way, this way. Uh, I guess as long as the pin is hidden, you can wear it however you want. A lovely gold tone pin in great condition. And this pin um, has a maker's mark here. This is the way it goes on the back right here. Again, I don't tell you'll be able to read it. It says Jennifer Poon, P-O-O-N, made in Canada. Well, made in Canada had me sold right there. Um, a new pin or relatively new. Um, I haven't had a chance to uh, check out Jennifer Poon and see what the significance is of her jewelry, but a lovely find to go with my Swarovski turtle. Um, and then I was, I really lucked out today. Um, this got this lovely, um, oh, I'm going to better move him out of the way. Um, this lovely rope pin, knotted rope pin, um, in excellent, excellent condition. I have no idea how old it is, but again, it is marked right here. It's Christian Dior. So uh, I never expected in my lifetime to get a Christian Dior pen for two bucks Canadian, but I did. So I am just a happy camper. Um. Then I think this is a uh, monogram pen. This is a lovely um, textured and smooth gold tone looks like a letter A, but I'm sure that one could wear it, you know, however one wants, but uh, with no offense to people whose names begin with A, um, but this is lovely letter A and marked right here under the clasp, Coro. So the name brands were popping out everywhere and in excellent condition. So uh, I was having a wonderful time and this was just a chance, uh, you know, drop into the thrift store. Um, next, I found this pin, um, lovely gold tone pin, again, textured the way I like it with some uh, smooth gold accents, um, not marked, but it has the older sort of V-shaped riveted um, clasp and it's an excellent shape and it's a little tiny bit cleaning down in here, but I, would expect that uh, after some time. So that's um, four gold tone pins. Uh, how lucky is that? Um, then I spied these. Look at the shine. Look at the shine. Um, definitely crystal, glass crystal. Um, two strands uh, of beads with the uh, hook closure um, in, whoops, a little twisted, in excellent condition, just gorgeous shine. Just look at the Aurora Borealis on that. Uh, I'm not sure if you can really appreciate it all, um, but uh, you know, not a, not a fancy clasp of any kind, but in very good shape, uh, very wearable. And uh, you know, one of those things that was on my bucket list of jewelry. I'm not sure if everybody else has a bucket list of jewelry, but um, Aurora Borealis Crystals was one of my items that I wanted to find. Uh, then I uh, 
I was looking in the bracelet section. There wasn't a lot to choose from. There was an Avon bracelet there, but it uh, the it was a gold silver combination. It was quite lovely, except that some of the finish was chipped off of it. So I passed on it and instead uh, got Tiger's Eye. Uh, nothing wrong with this stretchy bracelet. Lots of stretch. Some very inexpensive little uh, uh, metal uh, charms on it that I can always take off if I want. But uh, Tiger's Eye is one of my favorites. I have a lovely long Tiger's Eye necklace. So this uh, will be nice to add to my collection. And in the stones section, the necklace section, this is really cold. This uh, uh, is some type of light blue stone with sort of uh, um, almost beige inclusions. It's a very lightweight, you know, probably cheap metal, maybe not even aluminum. Um, I would say relatively new, um, uh, you know, fair trade kind of uh, necklace that was uh, made um, made by hand, very lightweight uh, uh, enclosures, but beautiful, beautiful stone. Um, and I haven't had a chance to look this up. I just bought this today, so had to show you. But this is just beautiful uh, for the stones in themselves. And certainly if uh, I wanted to, it could be repurposed. It's not very long. Um, and, you know, just has the hook closure. But... Um, I was just intrigued by the stones. So the stones sold me for $2. Then another stone that I found. And this, you can't help but thinking that this is resin with some moss in it. And it's not. It's moss agate. Uh, I mean, it's very, very cold to the touch. Um, you can see the rockiness of it when you start looking very closely and see... Um, how the rock was uh, shaped and formed, some sections that aren't as shiny as others. But doesn't that look like little strands of moss or seaweed right there in the stone? It is amazing. Um, there's been a discussion on uh, one of the jewelry Facebook pages about moss agate. And when I saw this, I went, oh, yes, that's it. And I had to have it. So one more piece today. Um, then there was, I had to make up groups of three for uh, $6.99, so I picked up this lovely pin. It's an angel pin, um, you know, just regular metal, nothing special, except that it is quite lovely. has all the uh, rhinestones, and it will be lovely to wear um, when I wear my Christmas pins. And last but not least, well, you know, I hate when I say that, last two things. I found in the wild for the first time in Canada, well, at least in my area, right here. I'm sure you can see it nice and large. It's Chico's, a pair of Chico's earrings, and they're quite lovely. I mean, quite wearable for me. I like the style, um, sort of the yellowish enamel, red enamel, uh, green swirl enamel. So there's one. Well, okay, can't be coordinated. Not coordinated today. Let's see if I can hold them so you can see both of them. There we go. How's that? A little better. Maybe a little further back. Get my big thumbs out of there. Okay. Well, not doing a great job, but there's a pair of uh, lovely Chico's earrings that I found. So first Chico's piece that I've run across. And then these... Uh, Lovely, I think they're marcasite, but not sure, um, earrings. They are a clip-on earring. And I am pretty convinced that right there it says Monet. Whoops, not that direction. Oh, no, it is that direction. I'm pretty convinced that says Monet, but even my loop has, troubly, has trouble seeing it. Uh, it looks definitely NET, and I can see the copyright symbol. So I have to check. I think this is a Monet type of back. Um, they're not, uh, it's not like um, Onyx or another black stone in there. These are just, uh, as you can see, uh, black, uh, probably plastic um, or glass uh, 
cabochons, rhinestones, and some black enameling. But I'm pretty sure that, that those are marcasites in the top and bottom, and then some lovely rhinestones. And, uh, well, you know, you just saw another video, I'm sure, of my uh, marcasite collection. So I was thrilled to find these. So I can't uh, remember ever getting this many uh, makers marked pieces all at once and at such a great price. So I'd rather buy all this and spend, um, you know, $25 than uh, spend it all on a jewelry jar and not and get maybe two or three really nice pieces. So I hope you enjoyed this quick haul. And I have to show you him again. He's as cute as can be. He's a Swarovski turtle. What an amazing thing. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick thrift haul. Uh, have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And bye for now.